for those that are YouTube, and today I'm going to be doing something very stupid on volts. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? So, oh god, I'm already getting lagged. Okay, so I'm going to also be doing a how to in this video on how to set all of these, how to set up a missile launcher in volts, and also how to use a rocket launcher. Woo! Oh, I don't have any rockets. Um, first I've set the little coordinates over to there, that little hill, and, um, there isn't any stabilizers on the back, so they're probably going to hit each other. What I've got on this row, oh, dang, what I've got on this row is, I believe that's like seven, five or six, seven red matter missiles, and when those touch ground, I believe, I don't know if the missiles do it or if it's just the block. But it will literally swallow your entire world if you don't stop it. I don't know how to stop it. I think you have to use... And that brings me to my next part. I think you have to use antimatter. So, here I've got some antimatter. Let's do this. This is not going to end well. If I'm having lag already, this is going to destroy my computer. I'll also show you guys how to build... I'm just going to show you how to build one of these because this honestly took me a while. Oh my gosh. Oh, it ate my lake. I don't know what just happened. Oh. Oh, it's going in a path this way. You can't you pro I can't see it, so I don't know if you guys will be able to. But there's this little red matter thing and it's just traveling this way, just sucking up all the land. Oh gosh. Look at my look at my mini map. It's just continuing on. Dang! It ate my lake. I didn't. I thought it would probably be more cataclysmic than that, honestly. But I'm I'm honestly sufficed. So sucks that they hit each other. I'm gonna show you guys how to prevent them from hitting each other. In this next part. Oh dang! So here I've got. Launcher platform, you can just search it up in here. I'm in creative mode, as you can see. I'm not doing this in survival, screw that. So I've got some launcher support frame. Tier 3 is the best. I got launcher control panel T3, which is the best. Launcher platform T3, I got a battery box here. And an infinite battery. This is obviously hacks. Um, I'm also going to get out that, just so I can show you something real quick. So here what I've got also is just a rocket launcher. All you need is a charged rocket launcher you can get out of there. I used this earlier so it's a little bit dried out. And any one of these green or any one of these red missiles just in your inventory. I don't know if these red missiles will work, but I know that these ones will. And all you do is you have them in your inventory, you can right click. That is that is very loud. Let's turn that way down. And all you do is shoot. And you can get free lag. Yay. Okay, my missile's not working now. So, my rocket launcher's not working. So then... Uh-oh. <laughs> I broke volts, everybody! This is... Oh, dang. Okay. I'm gonna try and go somewhere else and do this. Okay, so let's just, hopefully this will, maybe it's the snow, I didn't really think of that. So of course this is a 3 by one block place, oh okay, it was probably the snow, because, yeah, it was the snow. So anyways, we don't need any of that fancy stuff. So first you just place down your um, launcher platform, the green one is the tier one, you place it down the same way, it all works basically the same, tier one through three. Place your little support frame right there this is the easiest way to do it if you just it also saves you wires later on I don't know that I gotta go wire hacks what hacks okay so you just place a wire there this is just an easy build you can do this any way you want to hook it up to power um that's a battery box you, doesn't matter, this will freak out, that doesn't matter, it's just because it's charging this. So, the missile silo is empty. In order to save lag, I mean, of course, why would we want more lag, right, guys? 
Let's put in a red matter missile. Yay! Okay, so let's do this. Ah, uh, that missile is freaking awesome. One other thing you'll need is a radar gun. Oops. Okay then. So a radar gun. What you'll want to do is click on this without the radar gun. Just click on this. Sometimes your missile will disappear from view. That's okay too. And you want to set it to something like one for frequency. Dang, music, shut up. Anyways, so you want to set it to like one. All you have to do, you don't have to go into this and change some crazy settings. You just right click on that and it gets the the message and I am going to shoot that tree right over there so sniper fire um, now you have multiple ways you can do this you can set up a radar dish or you can set up some really complex redstone device to go off when somebody walks in or you just place down a lever and pull it let's follow the oh, okay the inaccuracy ceases to I think we should stop this This is a problem. Antimatter missile! Why did my support frame not work? Quick, we gotta end this. No, not another red matter. Put in the antimatter. Right into the heart of the beast. Ish. Okay, let's pull this. Uh, pull it again. Oh, dang. Oh, gosh. My hill. Did we stop it? Dang, that antimatter missile did not cease to... to look at the consequences. Alright, I'm also going to be doing missile reviews in my next Volts tutorial-ish kind of thing videos um please like favorite subscribe serious gaming um all the serious gamers oh and never try to make an underground base that's never worked for me so far i don't know how people do it um again anyways <laughs> um like favorite subscribe you know all that good stuff and um see you in my next video